this is the Winterfest. This it's on the Ellis Mountain Trails and sponsored by the Rocky Mountain, the Valley Bowl. What's your name? Where, Henry, where are you Henry from? Conley. Okay. Where do you live? Brookfield. Brookfield. Okay. Yep. What is this? What's going on here? It's an ASV all season vehicle. Got tracks, so it's just like a, a snow groomer. Okay. Uh, yep. How long have you had it? Oh, year or two. Okay. Yep. Have you fixed it up yourself? Or? No, no, it, just the way it came. It runs good. Yeah. Is, yep. it, is it fun to drive? Oh, run, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it is. A lot of fun. Right, it's cool. like like any snowmobile. Yep. Yeah. It's fun. Yep. Right. Thank you, sir. Bill Cameron, uh, live in Tunbridge, and this. Just a bunch of us guys that have old sleds brought them in so people could look at them. Yeah. Well, tell us about yours. It's a 1971 Skidoo Scandic. Um, I don't know. I bought it years ago and fixed it up so it runs fairly good. And, I don't know, take it to shows. Yeah. Is it fun to ride around? Yeah. It, the newer ones are a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it a little uncomfortable? Yeah. No suspension. Doesn't steer very good. It's loud, it smokes a lot, but other than that, it's fun, yeah. <laughs> okay, what is your name? My name is Zach Freeman. I'm with RASTA, the Rochester Randolph Area Sports Trails Alliance, and we're an organization that advocates for human-powered uh, recreation, outdoor recreation, and we're based here in Randolph and over in Rochester, Vermont. We partnered with Rise Vermont, and we purchased about 14 pair of snowshoes for folks to use for free. And we're also doing fat bike uh, tours as well with uh, the Gear House, which is a new um, outdoor recreation and bike shop that's going to open in Randolph on March 1st. What is your name? Hey, I'm Robin. I'm from Randolph. So we're here with a couple fat bikes for uh, free demos, and I'm representing the Gear House, which is a bike shop opening in downtown Randolph on uh, March 1st. We have full service. We'll do full tune-ups come spring, and um, hopefully some winter sports next next winter as well. We're at 16 Pleasant Street, so right in town next to the gazebo. There's a little ski sculpture on the side of the on the side of the building. Yeah. Uh, Bethany Silloway. I am on the committee for the Winterfest, so I'm helping run the whole show. Awesome. Well, how did you hear about the Winterfest? Um, I came last year, and I was a volunteer last year as well. And the owners of the property are good friends of ours. Do you do here at the Winterfest? Um, I'm doing a little bit of everything. We've been setting up for days and days and planning for weeks and weeks. I helped with the coordinate all the volunteers and helped uh, coordinate all the food vendors this year and then have just been on the committee helping to plan the whole event. What's your favorite part of the Winterfest? My favorite part of the Winterfest is that it's a great community event that brings together our whole community and people ranging all the way from Massachusetts to Maine coming to this event and it's free of charge for people to come and it's just, it um, and brings on a great community spirit here at this event. What is your name? My name is Jane Terry, and I live very close to this wonderful location. What do you do here at the Winterfest? Well, I'm a volunteer right now, and my responsibility are these lovely igloos. In here, you can get your face painted. Over here, you can dig for jewels. In here, you can step in here and get a selfie with a snowman or various other decorations on your body. And we've got some snow sculpting going on right over here. All right, just tell us your name, where you're from, what's going on here, what you're making. I'm Chris Wilson. I'm actually a local dentist here in Randolph and just working on building a face into the side of the snow. We've got a long way to go. Have you done anything like this before? Yeah, I do a lot of portrait sculpture, a lot of figurative sculpture. So it's a little different working in snow. It doesn't always cooperate the way you want it to. We're making a stegosaurus dinosaur and it wants to be a unicorn. <laughs> My name is Karen Butler. I looked down over the hill and I was like, wow, <laughs> this is awesome. It's so wonderful to see our town like coming together and doing something so amazing. And I'm just appreciative to everybody who worked really hard to bring it together. Everyone I've talked to loves it. So I think that, I think it will continue, hopefully for a long time. I'm from Portugal a uh, country of sand. This is my first time seeing this much snow, but I'm, fami I'm familiar with sand sculpturing, and I figured that ice sculpturing should not be that much different. So I picked a pile of snow, and I start shoveling with a, I think it's a plastic shovel, 
I have no idea what I'm doing, but it looks fish-like, I hope. So, do you make sand sculpture in Portugal? As a hobby, as a not professionally, I just I play on the sand like everyone else. Uh, so this is very different, but I'm I'm giving it my best shot.